Hey everyone, it's Orlando Streets, and today we are at Walmart Supercenter, located on Princeton Street, near the Packing District in Orlando, Florida. This Walmart is currently being remodeled, as you'll see later in the video. Seven forty-three for this baby bell. Half gallon ice cream, seven dollars forty-three cents. Dollar eighty-eight for dollar fifty-eight a pound for onions. Seventy-four cents for cucumbers. And plantains for 33 cents a pound. They look like plantains, don't they? $3.78 for these apples. Gala apples. I think this is the best deal that they have. bought apples, but I'm going to get these anyway. And a dollar ninety seven a pound for pears. Okay, this is four ninety seven for the three pound bag. Three pound bag. Same price here for strawberries that we saw the other day, 414 for a big container. And the smaller one is half that price, $2.12. Uh, good size container of blueberries here for $6.94. 6 dollars 94 and raspberries $5.94 for a smaller container. And we've got those berries here, $1.98 a pound for the reds. $1.98 for the reds. $5.98 for the greens. Oh, $2.68 for the greens over here in a bag. $2.68 a pound. $0.63 cents a pound for bananas. We saw $0.33 cents a pound just the other day. But this is about the average price, I think, around town. It's more expensive here in Orlando. They're not that great. Potatoes are $4.68 for a five pound bag. 
five pounds, four sixty seven. box of baby spinach is two dollars and ninety eight cents spring mix two ninety eight and baby kale with spinach two ninety eight this is a great way to buy spinach it, it'll last the shelf life is longer than any other way ninety eight cents for baby carrots Buck fifty six for a bigger bag, and a head of lettuce is a dollar sixty eight. Haagen-Dazs is $4.48. And they have a new flavor out. I can't find it anywhere. It has pretzels. I just don't see it anywhere. English muffins are three twenty seven and three eighteen. And okay, the generic white bread is a dollar. Used to be eighty eight cents, now it's a dollar. It's a good size loaf. One dollar. Pepperidge Farms, that's the best bread around. Three eighty-four for a loaf. Three eighty-four. Then they've got these very thin sliced bread. Very thin it's called. Four ninety-eight. 478. Interesting. Well, if you like grilled cheese sandwich, potato bread is the best for grilled cheese in my opinion. Potato bread. That's four dollars. Pizzas are anywhere from six dollars to eight dollars. Five 
five dollars for that one. Ten dollars for freshetta. Five dollars for freshetta. Seven fifty for California Pizza Kitchen. Jams and jellies, four twenty-four for Smuckers. Honey, little bear, three eighty-four. Look at this little guy. It's cute. Oh, look at this one here. Mike's hot honey. Look at this container. Look how small that is. Isn't that cute? That looks good, whatever it is. Great selection at this store. I got raw honey here with sea salt, with cinnamon, vanilla bean. Plain walnut butter, six dollars. Uh, this is really good stuff, Maranatha. Yeah, I've never tried this before. It's powdered peanut peanut butter. It's in a powder. I guess you just add water. And they were saying on the news that sriracha, they're having a shortage of sriracha hot sauce. Honestly, I don't even see any. Here's the generic. And I don't see a, a price associated with this generic. This is wrong. So 
here's a little over 1.12 pounds, 18 ounces, $13.24. Thanks, I'm not sure, who knows. Raisin Bran is three forty eight or four sixty eight. That's what twenty two and a half ounces for four sixty eight. Captain Crunch four seventy eight for twenty two ounces. Tricks, 478 for one pound, one ounce, looks like. Eighteen point four ounces of Apple Jacks, three ninety-eight. Twenty-two for quick goats. This is your deal right here. It's better for you anyway. Eat that instead. And frosted flakes. Twenty-four ounces for drum roll. Four dollars twenty-eight cents for a big box. Uh, 34 ounces for The cheapest chuck you're gonna find 16 ounces one pound is four dollars 84 cents it's for your hamburger meat or if you want a packaged pound 16 ounces lean ground beef is six dollars and 23 cents look how awful this is it's marked down would you buy that Ugh. and then they have this ground beef down here which is 73% lean, 27% fat, $4.92. Check this thing out, 160 ounces, something I never do but pricing salmon so per pound eleven dollars and forty eight cents a pound for salmon tilapia is six dollars and sixty eight cents per pound for tilapia and there's Pacific Cod, which is eleven dollars and looks like eighty-six cents, eleven eighty-six a pound for Pacific Cod. 
Chicken breasts are two dollars and eighty eight cents or two two eighty six a pound for chicken thighs. Breast tenderloins are three dollars and ninety four cents a pound. And drumsticks are a dollar seventy eight a pound. One seventy eight a pound. Turkey bacon, three ninety-eight. I don't think that's a pound. Four forty-eight. That's a pound. Yeah, it is. One pound, four forty-eight. Okay. So this is the cheapest bacon I've seen around. Period. Even cheaper than Costco. Costco, you have to buy twenty. You have to buy four pounds for just under twenty dollars. This is a better deal right here. Okay, this is 12 ounces, so it's four ounces under a pound, 372. Cream cheese, three ninety eight, five thirty eight. So this would be your standard size right here for five dollars and thirty eight cents. Excuse me. And this is how we used to buy it in a bar. You buy several of these to make uh, cheesecake. And I'm not sure if they're two forty eight or four forty eight. I'm guessing four forty eight. But that could be the double. That's a two pack. These are two dollars and forty eight cents a bar. and 74 cents. For mozzarella cheese sticks. Wow. 10 bucks for that. 6.98 for this. It's uh, just a little bit cheaper to buy volume here. And by the way, this is no cheaper at uh, Costco. It's just expensive everywhere you go. And half a pound of cheese, cheddar cheese, half a pound, eight ounces is a dollar eighty-six. And a pound of cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, cheddar cheese is three ninety-eight. Three ninety-eight. You can save a few cents for the generic brand. Oh, I'm sorry, that was generic brand. 368 here for a pound. 368. Okay, that's just 30 cents cheaper here because of this type. And shredded cheese is 398 for a pound. That's pretty good. Okay, 
Okay, it says 318 for this orange juice. 318. And it's um, same size, 52 fluid ounces. So this used to be 64 fluid ounces for 298 for ever and ever. Still, that's that's not bad. 318. That's a good price. And I'm tempted to buy this one with pulp. That's the one you always want to get. Get the one with pulp. So milk, milk is 332 a gallon. This is 527, but it's 332 here. And eggs are going to be 328 for a dozen. Three dollars twenty-eight cents for extra large white eggs. papers come up a lot this used to be 68 cents it's 84 cents now still this is a total deal compared to what everything else is costing right now just it's through the roof for toilet paper If art is your thing, this is a good place to get paint. Um, this is really, this is good stuff. You want to make your own painting or whatever. It's inexpensive, relatively inexpensive. I actually don't know how much these small ones are. 
don't see a price on them. But they have plenty of colors. These big ones down here are $2.67. It's nice that they have those as an option. I like to get the small ones. No, I'm sorry I don't know what they cost. I don't see a price anywhere. Oh, that's a shame. Well, anyway, they have a lot of what you need here. Look, we've got these little dabbing brushes and these fine brushes and these big brushes. I mean, that's pretty much all you need right there. And then they have, let's see. Well, I guess this is ready to go. You can just paint on this, I guess. This one, what is the point of this right here? I guess you put something in there. I don't know. Um, I had to go to Hobby Lobby for canvas, or you can go to Amazon.com if you want to just get canvas and build your own frame. It's the best way to do it. Uh, I've also purchased frames at uh, Ikea. They sell those large metal frames that you just assemble at home and then you put your canvas over it, and that works out really well too. Those are easy to hang. This has got to be your pharmacy. Yeah, I guess it's just your pharmacy here. Look at this. I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> oh, they're doing construction here. need to help my neighbor he's got a broken hose so I told his wife that I would fix it for him they currently have something like this and it's a total joke there's another plastic piece that works really well I think I probably bought it at uh, Home Depot but let's see what they have That looks like it, maybe. Push fit. Hose mender. Okay. Let's...
claw tool is cool. Mm -hmm. 20 bucks for that. 1997. Oh, look at this. This will aerate your lawn. Yes. I have no idea how easy that is to use. 39.88. Yeah, too expensive. 30 bucks for a rake. Uh, 20 bucks for a cheap one. Uh, sometimes, this is nine dollars forty-four cents. But sometimes you need. You need just a small rake like this. I, I actually need one of these. I don't know if I want to spend ten dollars on that though. It's really cheap. And they have this small one here for thirty dollars. Oh, it comes with this, the scooper. Interesting. And they have still have gas mowers. Not for much longer, though. I don't know if you heard, I read on the news yesterday that uh, they're starting to ban new gas stations in California, Northern California. And I guess there's five cities now have stated they're not gonna build another gas station. 2022, they're gonna have rolling blackouts in California. People aren't gonna be able to charge the cars. I don't know how people are gonna get around. It's scary. $218 for this electric lawnmower, 40 volt, 18 inch push mower, cuts up to a third of an acre. Guess on one charge, $218. And this will cut up to a half an acre, 40 volt, 20 inch push mower. It's $317. I've had one of these. I've had an electric hedge trimmer for uh, it's at least a couple of years now. $37. I don't think I'd buy that one, but see, I, I probably paid $80 for mine. I think I paid $88 for it at Home Depot. It's a Black & Decker. This is 20 volts. So you, you definitely want a 20 volt. Don't buy an 18 volt. Yeah, thirty-seven dollars for that. Hmm. That's where they got their mulch and fertilizer, it looks like. Bikes are. Alright. Can I check out? Okay. Thank you. Get your plants out there.
this is new. They're not open yet. Self-checkout. This is new. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time. This is Orlando Streets. Bye-bye.